What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Stir back with another stream settings video updated 2020 February 1st. People be asking me, like, yo, what's your stream settings? You got this PC, how much a PC costs? They trying to look, exclamation PC, exclamation setup, and they going through everything to see what type of stuff I have. When it's not really about too much about my hardware, half the time it's people settings that cause their stream to look or you know produce the quality that they get in people will have a way better internet speed and way better pc like hardware wise than i do and they stream still won't look like how mine look because it's just really just a setting so i'm gonna try to help you all get y'all stream to look as close as to my if not better and i'm only streaming right now on twitch in 720p and i will talk about twitch and youtube because youtube lowers your bit rate than from what it is already but if you find this a video helpful just make sure you go ahead and hit that like button for me just smack that like button one time for me and then you know if you want to follow me on twitch subscribe to my second channel that'll help me a lot and let's pretty much go ahead and get into this video so first thing you really want to do is go ahead on here and open up speedtest.net that was already open, but I'll just really type it in. Link is in the description. Open up speedtest.net. Then you want to just hit go. Once you can go, it's going to give you a ping, your download, and your upload speed. The main thing you're really worried about is your upload speed. So that's going to tell you how fast you can upload to the Twitch or YouTube server because you're not downloading content. You're uploading content for everybody else to see. You're live streaming. So that's what you need to be focused on. And anywhere between like anything over around like three megabytes per second on upload you'll be able to stream if you got like 10 anything above 10 then you're fine for like 1080p streams then you'll be fine but the main thing people do um wrong is they usually have the wrong bit rate or encoder settings so this is my settings ping that's not even the best but that's pretty much what i got for now so after you get that the next thing you want to do is you can go ahead and close out of that and i know mine so i'm gonna just go ahead and go as if i'm doing this fresh and new so after i do that the next thing i'm gonna go through is showing you how to see what kind of cpu if you have a pre-built you don't even know much about your pc try to see what cpu you have you may know what gpu you have you just go to this screen you just want to hit this pc if you don't know you just hit the start button and just click or uh, anything where it's like a folder or hit documents right here to be right here then just hit this pc and right click on the open space and hit properties and then it's going to show you processor amd ryzen 5 2600 c score processor 3.4 gigahertz and i got 16 gigs of ram your ram matters but it's not as much as your cpu or your hardware that's more so when you're playing actual games that it will affect your stream because it may be pulling too much ram you know the act random access memory which is ram it'll be storing it depending on the game if it got a lot of like random shit in the background that's not really rendered or whatever all right so you close that out and then for my gpu open up you first experience for you it'll be in the same spot if you have a nvidia graphics card if you don't have an nvidia graphics card then i don't know too much about the specs but you can always go to gpu benchmark and pretty much see like the strength and how strong it is compared to other stuff so or i could have just went here and it would have showed me the whole layout but it'll say my rig right here and then it'll say the rtx 2060 the driver version latest driver version and then you know cpu the ram and my 1920 by 1080 monitor on 120 hertz which is actually supposed to be on 144 but we're not here to talk about that right now so after you get your internet speed then you got your hardware you want to go ahead and make sure you open up your stream settings so right now i'm recording so some stuff is not going to be visible it's going to be grayed out but i'm gonna still show y'all anyway all right so i stopped recording but you can still see me because i'm using nvidia to record so that every setting can be available because if you're streaming or recording all your options won't be able to let you change them or some of them may be grayed out to where you can't press anything because you either recording or you going live at the moment so you got your general tab there is pretty much nothing you need in your general tab only thing that might obviously be useful is there is a snap sensitivity mine is on 10 and that's just when you're grabbing something how much it snaps to the corner like that or like that like how much it snaps okay so that's that 
and then you got your stream you can automatically hit stream and then it'll have youtube twitch facebook it'll have everything for you to automatically click and then that's not your stream settings though that's the platform if you don't know how to log into the platform it'll it's kind of like self-explanatory once you hit the stream option you just log into your account and this is on Streamlabs, and you can use the same settings for pretty much obs because a lot of these do cross over from obs and you know the newer version of obs but everything else like bitrate and encoder everything we're still gonna be using the same so right now mine you see my internet speed you don't need to have the 20 plus like i have you just need like around like 10 and you'll be fine but you the main thing you want to do is trial and error to kind of see what your internet can handle versus what it can't and it will give you like your feedback when you're streaming so um you have an audio one track your encoder i'm using my cpu because when i'm playing games if i'm already using my gpu to play my games i don't want my gpu to be trying to stream and trying to handle games that might need to render a lot at the same time and then be using all the gpu capacity when i could use it on cpu and gpu and split it up so my rate control is cvr n4 streaming service encoder settings i already have have that check uh my rate control is constant bit rate so it's going to be a constant 8500 bit rate variable bit rate is it'll be a peak 8500 but if it does not need to give you 8500 bit rate then it'll lower it in certain instances but i don't want it to ever lower my bit rate i just want it to be a constant rate of 8500 so that's why it's on that and then keyframe interval i have it on zero which is auto but i'm gonna go ahead and change that to two so if you see the keyframe interval it says seconds zero equals auto then two is a pretty good keyframe interval and then my cpu usage okay a lot of people get confused when they ask me about this CPU higher equals less CPU. So if you have not as strong CPU, then you want to hit like ultra fast, super fast, or very fast. Faster, anything after faster is like if you have like a i7 7700K or like a really good CPU. And for me, very fast, that's just fine. But this is kind of what will cause your stream sometimes to be like kind of like grainy or blocky. If you have it on like ultra fast it might come out a little bit more blocky than if you have it on faster medium or even slow and i am gonna just keep it on very fast right now i don't need to stress my cpu more than it already is right now even though i have a amd cpu for a reason because it's able to multitask and i have six cores instead of four just so i can have extra for when i try to stream my profile is is just normal and i have tune to none and then x264 options if you have any separate options we're not going to go through that in this video but you won't need to use those right now audio i have everything on audio is default my video 1920 by 1080 the canvas resolution is usually you want to match it to the resolution of your monitor so that everything fits the screen if it doesn't fit the screen you can hit right click transform and hit fit to screen if it's not the same resolution you would just hit transform fit the screen and you'll be boom just like that you'd be good then the output scale resolution is your resolution that you want to stream on you want other people to see the resolution that when people come to your stream the max resolution they can watch a stream if you want a 1080p stream then you would type 1920 by 1080 if you want it a uh, stream higher than 1080 if the platform allows that then you would type in whatever the variables the numbers for that resolution whether it's you know 3840 by 2560 or 4k or whatever it is for like the platform then that's what you would type and if you wanted to like type like a64 900 600 by 900 1440 by 810 if it allows those resolutions then that's what you would click but i'm gonna keep mine on 1280 by 720 just because certain newer viewers as a smaller streamer if you don't have very good internet and newer people trying to watch you it may cause their stream to buffer because it'll automatically be trying to prompt them to watch you in 1080 or 720p if you are not an affiliate and on twitch and it automatically gives them the base resolution that you were streaming in downscale filter is when you see like the blockages in your streams they clear up the 
you know like the the blocks and the pixels clear up is faster when it's like a still frame than having like a sharp clear frame of like 16 samples i have mine on fastest because i play games that move like at a fast speed if i'm playing something else and i'm just playing like a game where you don't need to you know i'm not doing as much moving as fast i might put it on sharp and scaling but i never use uh the 32 samples because it's not necessary so see the bilinear if you're playing a fast paced game or by cubic if you want the frames to look just a little bit more crisp and sharper and you're not playing a game that's you know as fast paced okay so the fps is just comma fps and this is how you put your fps you either want to put 30 29.97 or 59.94 which is also 60 frames per second if the platform can handle that hotkeys are your personal settings my video color format is just nvidia 12 nv12 uh 601 yuv color space the car yuv color range is partial recording default replay buffer all this stuff is default stream delay is 20 seconds but i don't have it enabled that's if i have a stream delay and then all of this other stuff is all up to you so that's pretty much for the stream settings that's all you would need to for the stream settings and if you have a certain bit rate the main thing that y'all gonna struggle with is trying to find a bit rate so i'm gonna talk about the bit rate a little bit more i'll put let's go back to bit rate okay 8500 is a pretty high bit rate and i would tell you if you have like a bit rate that is below if you have an upload speed that is around like let's say three to seven then i would go for like a 4500 around 5000 is usually what i try first try 4000 and i go up to like no more than like 5500 if you're streaming on twitch because a lot of viewers can't even download if they don't have a five percent of internet they can't even download the speed that you're i mean the bit rate that you're streaming at anyway so it's just going to give them a lower resolution of that stream so that's pretty much all the settings you need for twitch but if you on youtube you will want to bump it up just a little bit more because i don't know if you noticed but when you upload or stream on youtube youtube lowers the quality just a little bit less than what you got put in so it's like 8500 i might put 10k on youtube if i'm streaming at 720p but if you're streaming at 1080 then you won't need as high of a bit rate so if i go streaming 1080 then i may lower my bit rate to match the stream i may put it to like 6500 and 1080p this is all pretty much based on your upload speed so 8500 is be equivalent to like on a bit rate uh you would just go on google and you will type in bit rate to megabytes per second conversion chart and it will basically tell you so four megabytes is basically four thousand kilobytes per second and you will get the conversion and so me putting at 8500 would be eight 0.5 basically megabytes per second and that's how i get that number and i'll type it in and you'll see if your stream can handle it or not that's all you really want to need to do when you're trying to stream and stuff that's pretty much it for my settings if you have any problems go on my twitter or my instagram follow me on my twitter and instagram if you have any problems when you come to this video if you need help come to my stream when i'm live i'm pretty much live every day or a comment on this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and then you know comment on this video and i will reply to you as soon as possible which is going to be pretty much asap because i reply to everybody so that's pretty much it for the video man i hope y'all this helped y'all out if y'all want to buy any like dope fall merch winter merch just basketball merch or any type merch in general make sure you check out in the lab.tv that's the uh organization in the lab.tv description link is in the description and i will catch y'all in the next one